So I'm going to try and make this brief because this is something I usually don't talk about and I don't like dwelling on the politics or dramas of YouTube, but I think this is something that at least from whatever small reach that I have on YouTube, you guys should be aware of. Um, for those who watch channels like um, Philip DeFranco or maybe even PewDiePie, Markiplier, Scarce, things like that, you may have heard of YouTube's policies being changed once again and a lot of videos become demonetized due to not being advertisement friendly. What that means is videos that have like excessive swearing, vulgarity, sexuality, violence, etc, etc, are being demonetized. Now, it's not the worst thing in the world, or I say not the worst thing, but I mean that in a different way, because the videos are still up, but you just lose monetization on those videos. For people like me with super small YouTube channels, it's not as effective, um, simply because, well, I don't make that much money on YouTube, that's just one video I'm not making money on. But for bigger YouTubers, for those who've made a business or for those who have millions of subs and get, you know, hundreds of thousands or millions of views on videos, this greatly affects them because effectively they're not getting paid for the work that they produce because YouTube does not agree with that work. Now, ultimately, this is YouTube and YouTube can do what YouTube wants to do with their site because this is their site. But I feel as though this is kind of like a reaction to some of the more... What, what's a good word I want to say? It's kind of the more offended phase that we have going on right now, at least here in America. Everyone's super offended by whatever someone says, even if it's not meant to be offended or anything like that, but that's another topic entirely. Um, what I'm getting at is that due to this change, you may see a switch in how content is made on YouTube. Some content creators will just greatly censor the video so you won't see the content that they usually put up to try and match what YouTube wants them to do. And I feel is that that's kind of the worst case scenario is that content becomes so severely altered that it's not their content anymore. It becomes like, this is a video YouTube wanted featuring your content creator, right? Um, best case scenario is that the fans start supporting their content creators through other means other than ad revenue. Uh, what I mean by that is, um, you know, Patreon, fucking, vessel or twitch donations or whatever whatever alternate source of income that that content creator has if the viewers can support through that means then they may be able to balance out the fact that some of the more popular videos will not have that ad revenue anymore um and that's kind of what i would push towards is to support your content creators that way they can make the videos that they want to make and not have to resort to making videos that they have to make um but what i mean by that is I love watch Philip DeFranco's videos because I know that's his style of videos. That's what he wants to put out. That's the topics that he wants to talk about for the majority of the time. Of course, you're going to talk about more of the popular stuff, but his style of videos is what I enjoy. And I feel as though if he was to alter that content, I would not want to watch it. Because it's no longer Philip DeFranco that I subscribe to that I've been watching for like the past, you know, six, seven years, right? So that's what I'm afraid of. And that's what I feel as though. It is important for the fans to support their content creators. And that's what I would do if you can. Um, if they have Patreon, and if you can, you know, throw down a dollar a month on Patreon. It's literally a dollar, and it does so much that you can ever believe for these people. Simply because it can balance out them letting them make videos that they want to create. Without having to worry about YouTube not monetizing that one video. Anyway, I don't want to ramble on too much about it because, again... This isn't the type of videos that I make, and I'm not the most knowledgeable person on it. Um, I will put some links in the description down below if you want to check out, if you want to dig deeper into it. I'll also put um, Philip DeFranco's videos and a couple of other YouTubers that I watch kind of explaining more of the situation than what I've talked about. Um, again, last thing I can say is if you really, really want to support your content creators, this is the time to do it through Patreon, through donations, through if they have like loot crate shit or anything like that, like... Um, like subscription boxes or anything like that that's the best way to do it so that way they can kind of supplement the income that they may be missing out on from youtube itself and it comes directly from the fans that's what i could say if you can please do um even hell turning off ad block for the videos that they do get advertisements on also greatly helps with that i'll catch you guys in the next video take care all right everyone thanks for watching the video Please be sure to check out my sponsor, Universal Yums, and link will be in the description down below where you can start your subscription today. Also, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, the typical YouTube stuff, and I will catch you guys in the next video.